Now, <clears throat> I wonder if you've ever come across this issue the same way I have. Now, I have a set of headphones I use to edit all my videos, listen to music. Um, but I also have a separate set of headphones that I game with that has a microphone built in. Now, I don't like to do that. I like to stick with my original headset, but unfortunately, it doesn't have a microphone. How do I fix that? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be explaining exactly how by the means of the Sora Mic 2. So guys, here we have it. This is the Sara Gaming Sara Mic 2. This is an attachable microphone to any headphones. And that's going to come into play in just a second. Now, what we're going to do is get this unboxed, see what we're working with, and we shall go from there. So as we can see, we have the Sara Gamer logo going on there, which is very nice in a very hardback case. So you know fine well whatever's in here is going to be protected. So let's get this unzipped and see what we get. Now, the concept of this design, I was extremely ecstatic for because it makes life so much easier when it comes to actually having a headset. So, pretty generic little manual there. It's going to tell you everything you get in the actual box and a little bit of a description of how to use it, but it's relatively very, very easy. And then we also get an extra little box of accessories going on here, which we're going to get into now. So, first of all, we do get some extra adhesive pads, which will come to play in just a second, and then also an alcohol pre ep pad. So, when you actually, this sticks on the side of a headphone, so you're going to require this to get rid of any dirt or dust onto the headphone himself, just so you can actually get them secured very nicely. So, the other thing we do have is some simple S clips. S clips are basically there to actually keep the wires at bay and actually keep them connected, which is very nice. And then this little guy. But we're going to come into that in just a second. So let's have a look at the headset itself, or the headset, the microphone itself, and we shall go from there. Now, when I first unboxed this, I thought, what, what, what is this? I, I, I don't fully understand what's going on. Well, you might be in the same situation, and I'm going to clear up a few things for you just now. So I'm just going to get this little clip out the way, just so it's not in the way of anything. Wrap that around itself going on there. So this is what we get. So this essentially is your new microphone. Now, if we have a look there, so we have, I'm going to pop this off for a second there so we can see that. So as we here have here, we have the microphone itself, and then we also have a little connecting rod. Now, if I unscrew this for a second, we can see here we do have a little mounting hardware with a little sticky pad, and then that's what I mean. So we do get a spare one of these. Like I said before, we do get another one. And then what this essentially is, is this slides into there and then locks in. You have a little spring in there to keep the tension onto the microphone itself, which just slides in just like that. It keeps the tension on the microphone, stops it from wobbling around. And then you also get a securing cap that goes on top. So what you can do, utilize this is when you're using the microphone, if you loosen this off, you can slide it up and down, obviously depending where you actually want this. So you can slide it if you want it all in face view, which is going to come into play, or if you just want it halfway down, or if you just want it out your way altogether. So I'll screw that down just to get it connected. So what this is, is it's like a, a braided bar going on here. So what you can actually utilize this is you can utilize this. You can utilize this to move it in any frame or direction that you actually want or need. If you want more extension, you can lengthen it. If you want less of extension, you can coil it. So you have full maneuverability to actually access this microphone and move it into any direction that you actually want and need. So I'm going to pop the wing cover back on there and we're going to go into the cable. So cable itself is a very generic cable, nothing exciting going on there, but you wouldn't expect it to. And then we also have the microphone control unit going on here. So as we can see, we have microphone on and microphone off, and that's just simple on off button. So that's just going to mute and demute the microphone. And then to the bottom, which is just a generic 3.5 mil jack, which would go into your headset, which is very nice. If you can't go into your headset, if it's a Bluetooth headset, you can just plug it straight into your laptop or PC via the microphone port, which makes life a lot easier. Now. I have a pair of headphones here. Now, these headphones do not come with a microphone. They are Bluetooth. They don't have any microphones or anything on them. I have a 3.5 mil jack, and I also have a DJ jack. I don't have any microphones with this. Predominantly, it's not a gaming headset, but I enjoy actually gaming with it because it allows me to... I don't know, it's just the quality alone is unbelievable. But the downside is I don't have a microphone. I have to use a condenser microphone, but it's not always utilized very well. So, what we actually have here is 
this is going to allow me to change my basic headset into a microphone headset. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this down here so I can utilize the full length of it. And what we're going to do is I predominantly have my microphone on the left hand side of my cup if I do get them. So what I'm going to do is actually peel this little sticker off. I'm going to peel this sticker off here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit the microphone up. I'm going to sit the headphones up. And roughly where I would normally have a microphone, so like on an angle like this, so that would be flat depending where I have it. It doesn't really matter where I put it. I'm actually going to stick this right there. Now, it may look weird right now, but don't worry about that. And pretty much what I have just done there, I have just made this into a microphone headset. So, like I said, with the bendy rod going on here, which you have quite a lot of length, if I'm not gaming and I don't want to utilize this, I can either take it off completely just by simply twisting this and pulling it off. And there we go. We just have a cap. So then I can use it as a traditional headset. I don't have to worry about the microphone. But then if I want to go into some gameplay, all I have to do is twist that onto there and I'm good to go. Like, it really is as simple as that. So like I said, with this, it tightens down. If I'm utilizing the microphone and I don't want to use it, all I've got to do is move then, of course, if I don't want to use it anymore, I can just move it out of the way. But if I want to go back to gameplay, I can just do that. But then if the microphone is too long or too short, I can pull a bit of the microphone in or I can pull a bit of microphone out. So I, I have a huge length there of microphone I can actually utilize and use. So unlike it being like a traditional headset, how you would only have a limited, you know, a limited amount of microphone, you would only have a limited size. You know, you might not have the ability to put it on, remove it. Some of them, a lot of them, should I say aren't removable microphones and with this what this is going to allow me to do is take my generic headset that i'm just going to be using for watching videos and listening not talking and actually convert it into a fully ledged gaming headset how amazing is that so what we're going to do is actually go over to some gameplay and i'm going to show you a few clips of roughly what it looks like while utilizing so let's go do that now Reload, reload. Damn. Oh, I got killed by my own team, mate. Now, so like I said with the video, it does come with an extremely nice case that does have Sora Gaming engraved into it. But you know, this microphone really is incredible. I, I, have a, I have a genuine headset that I use to edit my videos, and I have a separate headset that I use to game and talk with. And it gets annoying swapping, because one's wired, one's Bluetooth, and I have to change my settings. And it becomes a little bit of a, a, a pain, to, to put it politely. So when it comes to the Sora Gaming 2 microphone, what this allows you to do is actually stick this to the side of your headphones. Stay this, I'm pretending to wear headphones right now. Stick this to the side of your headphones, and obviously you saw from the audio recording abruptly what it sounds like. And you can simply just pull this through. However, depending where you want the microphone, you have full adjustability. It's got full exile strength, so as you can see, it's fully maneuverable. If you want it in a twist and a funky pattern, you can do. But like I said, this just goes onto the side of your generic headphones. 
what this allows you to do is actually utilize the headphone function <clears throat> and actually use this as a microphone on any headphones that don't actually come with a microphone so it's pretty much a win-win situation and this alone can save you a ton of money and when i mean a ton of money i mean you've seen the prices of gaming headsets gaming headsets are not cheap original headsets without microphones are relatively quite cheap but nine times out of ten when you come to the audio factor or the microphone factor they're not that good they really aren't so if you take your headset that doesn't have a microphone and add the sara gaming microphone to it that just sticks under the side of your headset and pretty much works the exact same your gaming experience your streaming experience like we went through on the video it's going to become 10 times better your friends your gamers your colleagues are going to hear you perfectly and you're not going to have to worry ever again of when it comes to my headset doesn't have a microphone well now it does so if you do by any chance any want to grab one of these head down the link in the description below there's a link there so you can go check them out for yourself of course but as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Make sure you check the links in the description. And as always, I hope you all have a blessed day.